Supporting information for this video can be found at the following locations. Old Grumpy Hunter here. Welcome to Math for Archery. Like it or not, archers use math for every shot, be it shooting at a target or at game. It does not matter if it's a traditional bow, a compound bow, or a crossbow. We all use math with our sport. I apologize in advance to all of you because this is going to be about math, and for some of you, it will be boring. For a while I've been using formulas in my different videos. Formulas for calculating kinetic energy and for calculating momentum, among others. For this discussion I'll be using an arrow with a weight of 435 grains and an initial blistering speed of 320 feet per second. In the past, I have used terms like momentum, feet per second, kinetic energy, meters per second, joules, newtons, grains, kilograms, pounds, foot-pounds, velocity, initial speed, average speed, meter, yard, pound force, and slug. Now, I don't plan on talking about all these terms in this video, but you never know where old grumpy hunter is going to go. Manufacturers like to advertise feet per second and kinetic energy like seen here. Frequently, it is the largest print on the box or in the ad. How is kinetic energy calculated? The formula for kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, where m equals mass and v equals velocity. Let's run some numbers using that arrow weight and speed mentioned before. Kinetic energy equals 1 half times 435 times 320 times 320, with a result of 22,272,000. Well, something went wrong there. I see I got your attention. The problem with the formula, 1 half mv squared, is based on using metric units of kilograms and meters per second. And the result is in joules. I used grains and feet per second trying to get foot pounds. Something needs to be converted. On the west side of the Atlantic, we can either change the arrow weight to kilograms and the speed to meters per second, or just use the conversion factor. I'll discuss changing the units to metric units later, but first let's look at using a factor. The formula for using kinetic energy when using grains and feet per second with a factor looks like this. Ke equals mv squared divided by a factor resulting in foot pounds, where m equals grains and v equals feet per second. The factor also eliminates the need of multiplying by one half. So what is the factor? I have found a minimum of four different values that are being used for the factor. 450,240, 450,395, 450,440, and 450,800. I have been using 450,240 in my videos only because it appears to be the most common on the net. The online ballistic calculators I've tested, most of them use 450,440, give or take, as the factor. I'm not sure the factor you use really matters because when rounding to the nearest integer, they all equal 99 foot-pounds. Another common formula is the one for momentum. P equals mv, resulting in joules, because just like the kinetic energy formula, it uses kilograms and meters per second. What about this side of the Atlantic? Like the kinetic energy formula, when using grains and feet per second, there is a conversion factor. The formula is P equals 
435 times 320 divided by 225,400, resulting in 0.17568766666 lux. The popular online calculators gives the result rounded to 0.168 slugs. That looks the same to me. The speed of sound equals 1,125.328 feet per second, or 343 meters per second. Why is that important? I discussed that in some of my other videos. Videos like, how far are you planning to shoot? And are you thinking about taking that advertised 100-yard shot at a deer? Just to name two of them. Our arrow will take 0.287 seconds to go 30 yards and 0.314 second to go 30 yards based on the results of one of the online calculators. Knowing that information, we can calculate the difference in time between the sound and the arrow reaching the target. How long does it take the sound of a shot to go 30 yards? To calculate the time it takes the sound to reach 30 yards, first thing we need to do is change the yards to feet. By multiplying yards by 3, 30 yards becomes 90 feet. The formula is time equals distance divided by speed. So we have 90 feet divided by 1,125.328, and the arrow takes 0 0.08 seconds. For 30 meters, the sound will take a tad bit longer to reach the target. The time the sound takes to reach 30 meters is 30 divided by 343, or 0.9 seconds. In simple terms, the arrow will take approximately 2.78 times longer to reach the target than the sound at 30 yards and 2.283 times longer to reach 30 meters. Is there a way to convert feet per second to meters per second? You can divide feet per second by, by 3.2808398950132. Or you could just round that to 3.281 and be close enough. 320 feet per second equals 97.536 meters per second. To go the other way, multiply meters per second by 3.281 to get feet per second. Is there a way to convert yards to meters? Just multiply yards by 0 0.9144. 30 yards times 0 0.9144 equals 27.432 meters. Change meters to yards, divide meters by 0 0.914. 30 meters equals 32.8 yards. Okay, there must be a way to convert grains to kilograms, right? Divide grains by 15432.3584. That can be rounded to 15,432 and be very close. 435 grains equals 0 0.0282 kilograms. To change kilograms to grains, multiply the kilograms by that same 15,432. On a side note, there are 437.5 grains in one ounce and 7,000 grains in one pound. Are there any other questions? Can we change foot pounds to joules? Divide the foot pounds by 0 0.73756. 98.89 foot pounds equals 134.0777898782. Two joules. Of course, multiplying joules by 0 0.73756, you get foot pounds. Can we convert slug foot second to kilogram meter per second? What about slugs to pound force? Those are both excellent questions, and yes, we can do both. One kilogram meter second equals 0 0.20885434224575. Slugs. You multiply slugs by 47.88. 0 0.62 slugs equals 29.69 kilogram meter per second, give or take. Converting kilogram meters per second to slugs, you just divide the kilogram meters per second by 47.88. One slug equals 32.174048694867 pound force. To convert slugs to pound force, just multiply the slugs by 32.174048694867. 0 0.62 slugs equals 1995 pounds force. You could round that to 32.174 and be close enough. That was interesting. Yes, it was.
Thank you for watching this Old Grumpy Hunter presentation. Please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to push the notification bell.